Hello everyone, I am Tyken and I am glad to be back. Today I'm going to be doing a tour of my old Minecraft Let's Play series. Uh, before I start a new one and begin revamping this one, I'm going to try to break this up into a three-part series, so we're going to go ahead and start showing you around. This is the main base, but that's the main feature. Let's uh, show off some of the other stuff that I've been working on. I painstakingly made this path because I'm going to be uploading a save file for you all to explore all of my old stuff, and I kind of wanted everything to at least be largely connected. So this is a little house I built not too long ago. Uh, I mostly wanted to see if I could build something outside of a wall or a mountain, and I feel like I did a pretty good job. Not my best work in the world, but I was really happy with it. Of course, this is uh, before a lot of features were added to the game, so there's not tons of things uh, that I could have done, although I was always proud of this little closet shelf thingy. Uh, in case you're wondering, by the way, these are some nice resource uh, packs from uh, DokuCraft. That is what I'm currently using. I'm also a huge fan of two-story balconies, which is just my absolute favorite. Of course, I also have the little rafters. Any kind of little detail like that you can add to a house is just wonderful. Uh, I am going to be tra trying to revamp everything to essentially make everything I've built prior better. So hopefully I can make this little house better too. Uh, meanwhile, over here... Uh, this, again, is part of the series where I kind of got bored of building underground, or at least wanted a change of pace, so I built a small little farm over here. Uh, this is in my creative test world, essentially a copy of my Let's Play survival world in creative, so I could test out a bunch of builds and get everything just right before I actually introduced everything into the series. And I am absolutely ecstatic with this nice little farmhouse that I built. Uh, it's it's one of the things I'm most proud of, actually. Uh, I also love this greenhouse. Oh, I built this, and it's my favorite thing. Um, I also terraformed the terrain over here. The, this little pool of water was not here at all, and I added it myself. There's still lots of work to be done, and of course I plan on doing all that when I revamp the series. But I want to show off what I have, kind of like a before and after shot. So let's check out the farmhouse first. Uh, so this little uh, outdoor patio, more like a porch rather, except it's not raised. Should have done that, but have some nice little chairs so you can just sit out and enjoy the view of your farm, which is still kind of empty at the moment. Uh, have a very nice little fireplace. I'm thinking this is going to look a lot better once we actually put campfires in there, or maybe worse, depending. Um, so the resource, the resource pack that I'm currently using has uh, modeled pots for your plants. And some of them kind of mess up the whole uh, cactus in a pot trick to make it look like you have potted plants. That one still works, sort of, but it's taller and weird. Uh, might fix that once I'm done with my uh, resource pack. I also love this little area. It's like nothing special, but it, it kind of looks good despite it just being kind of a, an entryway. Uh, this is my kitchen. I was also really proud of this. Um, nothing too fancy. Kind of looks a little modern, especially with all the quartz. And then uh, the hoppers kind of uh, look like they're sinks because they're into the wall, so they look like drains and such. Could have probably done a better job, especially if I had some like levers or something I could put right here. But I always like the idea of a window view for sinks, so it was kind of worth the sacrifice. Of course, you have like a refrigerator here. No real capacity because I didn't want to uh, add any hoppers or anything with an inventory because I didn't think it looked as good as the iron at the time. Uh, this is the dining hall with a beautiful wooden chandelier. Uh, this was before I think walls existed and I think a few of the other nice things. I cannot remember. I know I know I've built a lot of the stuff way before a lot of the more important decorative blocks were added to Minecraft. I want to say I quit around 1.7 but some of the stuff is even older than that. Uh, up here I also love this view. It's just so nice as you're walking up the stairs. Um, so this is the kids room. Uh, you have multicolored carpet, because what kids room doesn't have that? Or the little race car one, but I don't have the ability to make that in Minecraft. You have a nice little lamp here with a working light switch. You have a toy chest full of various building materials, because that's what kids love to play with. Uh, bookshelves, a cauldron for them to play in, I guess. And of course bunk beds. What bedroom is not complete without bunk beds? Uh, of course you also have the... Uh, I guess parents' bedroom, a nice grandiose fireplace directly above the other one, so it's two-tiered. I have a very uh, grandiose bookshelf, I believe, a little extra up top there. 
And of course the bed, which I tried to do in the style of a platform bed. Not my best work, but I think it looks pretty good, despite the circumstances. Uh, over here... Actually, let's just go out the back door. That's, that's what it's there for. Uh, this leads out to the greenhouse, and this I'm just absolutely proud of. Not only do I just love the exterior, the slanted roof, but I think the inside is fairly well decorated. And again, before you had tons of different blocks you could do stuff with. Uh, yeah, I love the hanging vines. I think that really makes it go from like good to amazing. Um, and then, of course, over here, I absolutely love what I did here. Uh, this was just kind of like a little, I guess, mound of dirt. And that wasn't there, so I, I added a little bit of water, trickled it down, and then, essentially, this is kind of like a little um, natural water source for all the animals. Um, so they have a place to drink other than their holding pens. Uh, I planned on decorating the heck out of this open area, too, because right now it seems really empty. But again, this was all just prototypes before I had a chance to actually do much. Uh, this little pig pin uh, definitely did not showcase in the series, so you get a chance to actually see something uh, that I never actually showed off. So that's like the little piggy hut. They have a little bit of water source there too, although in retrospect I feel like maybe I should have just added a natural water source. Uh, and of course a uh, mud pit for them to roll around in, because why not? Uh, this I definitely showed off in the series. This is my barn. Another piece of work that I'm fairly proud of, because not only does it look good on the inside, but the outside too. Uh, I definitely had to change the wood in this texture pack. Uh, I was using, I think, Dwarven Doku Craft originally, and it had like this, this really nice um, golden brown for jungle wood. And you can kind of see in my hand what it's supposed to look like. It just looks kind of like overgrown wood in the original. And I'm, I, it looks good, but I pretty much never use that in anything that I'm building with. Um, so I changed it, and I think it looks a lot nicer. Of course, you have the little sheep holding pins over here. Again, nothing super special uh, for the cows as well. And then, of course, you also have the uh, half-tier loft, where you would store all your supplies and uh, hay bales to feed your animals with. So it's kind of like storage and actual barn. Kind of literally both types of barn. Although, maybe adding a little outside pin for the uh, animals might have been a good idea, too. I can always do that later. Uh, this, I know I definitely sh didn't show off at all. This is my horse pin, and I am also really pr You know, I'm actually really proud of this entire farm area that I built. Uh, really gives me like a Harvest Moon Stardew Valley vibe, and I'm, I'm really happy with uh, how everything came out. So you have functioning um, horse pins. Uh, I didn't actually bother to tame these horses because I just needed them for show. But uh, you can actually move in and out because um, it's just tall enough that you won't hurt yourself or the hurt horse getting through. I kind of like that it's really open to give like a lot of natural airflow to the horses and it just feels more open and breathable. Uh, then over here you have like a little uh, side storage where you just store hay and whatever. And I wasn't sure what I would do over here. Maybe have like a little office where you keep track of all the uh, animals' records, maybe race records if you were, like this is like an actual barn or something like that. Uh, and essentially what I planned on doing with this entire open area, the uh, pretty much from the hills down, is I broke away any uh, single tall block. So it's all just two blocks high. And no animal can climb out of this, except for maybe on the vines, but I haven't tested that out. Um, essentially, no animal should be able to get out. So it's kind of like a natural fenced-in area in that um, there's no actual fences except for the open areas over here. And it's very wide and kind of a free-range animal farm, which I'm really happy about. Um, originally, I'm not sure where I was going to put it, like maybe right here before I put the pig pen there. I wasn't set on that location anyway, so, you know, could have moved it around, but maybe over here or down this hill right here, I was going to have, like, a staircase that the farmers could easily just go down and get into the main area um, and deal with all the animals and such. But uh, I'm going to go ahead and end it here. Uh, that way I can start on the next part. Um, this is, I think, essentially all I have to show off for this area anyway. Uh, again, I do feel like I could do better with a few of these things. Maybe add some more to the greenhouse. I can uh, do the whole chimney trick with the campfires now. I am so excited about all the new blocks they added. So it actually looks like a smoking chimney. 
and then uh, decorate this place. So I hope you all are excited. Uh, stay tuned for the next episode where I show off the house and the secret laboratory. And I will see you guys next time.